here is everything new in iOS 26 Developer Beta 2. Before I get into it, if you want to keep up to date with the latest Apple news and reviews, hit that subscribe button. This is now the second developer beta of iOS 26, ahead of the public beta in July and a wide public release this fall. As is typical, we saw a bunch of changes in this new build and I'm going to walk you through what I found so far. For reference, we saw the build number increase from 23A5260U to 231576F. As we get closer to release, that build number will increase and the letter will get closer to A, representing the stability. The big news in this update is that Apple has tweaked Control Center. The background is now more blurred and darker than it was before. As you can see on my secondary device here, the original lacked contrast for the buttons. I think this is a solid improvement. Apple is also adding a new ringtone with this build. Apple's default ringtone these days is Reflection, and now we have a second version of it. As a refresher, here is the original ringtone. The new one is labeled as Alt-1, which is likely still a placeholder name, but it's a version of Reflection. Here's what it sounds like. Let me know in the comments what you think of the new ringtone. Is it better? Or do you just perpetually keep your phone on silent? Honestly, I use it a lot for like alarms if I really need to wake up. Maybe I'll use it for that. Moving to the lock screen, the new iOS 26 stock wallpaper is now animated. It reacts to the movements of your display, kind of like the spatial photos, but more glass-like and abstract in this case. When you go to customize your lock screen or wallpaper, the customize button and plus button are now more reflective. They basically got a healthy dose of liquid glass. You can see as I swipe through the different lock screens how the reflection even changes. Then inside of the wallpapers, Apple brought back the various device specific ones that previously were not included. On the home screen, there is a new Apple Music widget. It's right after the new pins widget and shows you all the different live radio stations you could play. I think with new widget support on CarPlay, video linked here, this could be really helpful. Inside of Safari, the new menu on the bottom has been tweaked. The three icons have become two and now they're down at the bottom. Share is added to the top of the list similar to where it was before in beta one. Also here in Safari, when you view your tabs, the plus button is now at the bottom once more. The same goes for the check mark, which has also been relocated. ChatGPT can be used to generate images inside of Image Playground as part of iOS 26. Because of those image requests, it now splits out account limits inside of settings. Now there are two limits listed, one for images and one for other. Order tracking is now active in mail. I haven't ordered much recently, but when you place an order, it will get detected and show in the wallet app. When you open the new wallet app and tap on your orders, you'll get a new splash screen asking you to enable this feature. I can see orders just like this peach truck order right here at the top. If you ever want to turn this off, there is a toggle inside of wallet settings and then orders. This may be a bug, but if you have only three icons in your dock, they are now left justified instead of centered. Personally, I think centered looked better, but I usually have four in there anyway, so it probably doesn't matter. Finally, if you enable high contrast mode, buttons now get a border. Not only is there more contrast with the background, but the white border makes them even easier to see. So if you don't like liquid glass, uh, you can just enable this to make it more usable. This is all of the new features that I have found so far, but I am sure there are more. Performance has been solid for me, even during the original beta, but onto this one too. There's obviously a lot going on right now with the phone, like after the update, it's re-indexing and doing a plenty of other background tasks, so that's not a good time to judge performance anyway. If you spot any other changes or have any other questions, let me know down below in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.